What's going on guys, it's Pommy Gaming here. Don't click off the video just yet because today we've got another Overwatch Hero Guide. Today we're going to be looking at Junkrat and I'm going to be telling you some tips and tricks on how to use Junkrat. But before we do that, let's go have a look at some in-depth stats on Junkrat. So to start off with, we're going to start off with his Total Mayhem, which is ability he drops 5 live grenades when he's killed, the damage is 60 per grenade and the max is a, a 300. Junkrat's drained sense of humour persists past his death, if killed he drops several live grenades. So when you kill Junkrat you don't want to be running over the top of him or else you're just going to die instantly. As you can see Junkrat is a defensive player, he has 200 health and is a 2 star difficulty. But for me, I think he should be a 1 star because he's that easy to use. So moving on from Junkrat's Total Mayhem, let's have a look at his Frag Launcher, which is his primary weapon. The ammo is 5, the damage per shot is 120, which if it's a direct hit. The splash damage is 80 maximum, up to 40 self damage possible. Grenade fuse is 1.5 to 3 seconds depending on the distance of the shot. The rate of fire is explodes very shortly after the third bounce. The reload time is 1.5 seconds. Junkrat's Frag Launcher launches grenades at a significant distance, they bounce to reach their destination and blow up as they strike an enemy. Now moving on from his Frag Launcher, his primary weapon, let's move on to his left bumper ability which is the Concussion Mine, which the cooldown time is 8 seconds and the damage is 120. After placing one of his homemade Concussion Mines, Junkrat can trigger it to damage enemies and send them flying or propel himself through the air. This is really good to go in high places because if you put it down and you jump over it and blow it up, you can actually go flying through the air, you can get to high destinations or just go flying over walls. Now moving on from his left bumper ability, which is his mine, let's move on to the right bumper, which is his steel trap. The damage is 80, the trap time is three seconds and the cooldown time is 10 seconds. Junkrat tosses a giant metal tooth trap. Should an enemy wander too close to the trap, it clamps on injuring and immobilizing them. Now moving on, last but not least is his Riptire which is his ultimate. You use this by pressing Y when you get your ultimate to 100%. The cast time is 1 second, the area damage is 600, falls off off distance, less damage if in the air. The tire duration is 10 seconds, the tire hit points is 100, the tire speed is 10 meters per second, the tire ability can climb up walls. The passive ultimate charge is 0.4 per second, total charge time is 250 seconds. One hit ultimate charge is 2 to 10% per hit depending on the damage. Junkrat revs up a motorized tire bomb and sends it rolling across the battlefield. Climbing over walls and obstacles, he can remotely detonate the ripped tire to deal serious damage to enemies, caught in the blast, or just wait for the tire to explode on its own. Now that's all of his abilities, what we've seen. Now let's move on to see who he's effective against. He's effective against Bastion, DVA, May, Reinhardt, Roadhog, Symmetry, Torbjorn and Tracer. And the reason why he's effective against these type of players is because they are really big tanks. They're easy to hit with your grenade launchers and they're not going to be able to run away quick enough to get away from the bomb. And if Tracer's caught anywhere near a grenade she's just going to die instantly. And yeah, now moving on from that let's see who he's weak against. He's weak against Mercy, Farrier, Reaper. Soldier 76 and Widowmaker. He's weak against these type of players because Mercy and Farrier can fly up in the air away from him and he's never going to be able to hit them with any of his grenade launchers. Reaper can just go and kill him in like two hits because he's not that tank of a character. Soldier 76 can just get him from distance and so can Widowmaker. Now moving on from who he's weak against we're going to see if he works well with which is Mercy, Symmetry and Widowmaker. He works well with these because Mercy can always heal him and he can just spam grenades anywhere he wants just to kill his enemies. Symmetry can slow people down with her turret and then uh, Junkrat can just come in there and just blow them up. And when they make it, Junkrat can just chuck down a steel trap and when they make it, can just shoot him from a distance. Now I'm going to tell you when I would use Junkrat, I'd only ever use him on like objective game modes because you can just spam the area with as many grenades as you want and it's going to be hard for the team then to go on the objective and try and claim it. But other than saying that, I don't like Junkrat to be honest, he's not that hard to use, like he's really annoying to play against because literally he just spams grenades and if you get hit by two of them you're just going to die instantly. But yeah it might just be me but I don't think Junkrat is that skillful of a player, anyone can use him because literally you're just spamming grenades and if any of grenades hits the player they're just going to die. And yeah guys that's all I've got to say for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please do give it a like. It's always appreciated. And subscribe if you want to subscribe. And I will be posting more Overwatch content as soon as possible. Sorry that I haven't been uploading recently. 
And uh, sorry about my cold, what I've got at the moment, so that's if I sound different or whatever. Also guys, leave a comment down below for whatever Overwatch hero you want me to do next. I'm always willing to look at my comments and see what you guys want. And I'll speak to you guys later.